Hey guys, it's 102723, um, 1015 in the morning I received this, um, it's called Strength and Heritage. I was given the entire thing and then I was given verses I need to read, but then I was told to give it to you in opposite order. So I need to read the verses so you can kind of be thinking about that while you hear the words, okay? So here are the verses, Revelation 14, 6 through 13. The proclamations of the three angels. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. And another angel followed, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. And they have no rest, night or day, who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Then it's Revelation 13, 11 to 18, the beast from the earth. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all of the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many who would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all, both great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. And then Revelation 19, 19 to 21. And I also saw the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. And then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who signs in his presence, but by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive in the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the rest were killed with a sword which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. Then Revelation 20, 1 through 6. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him so that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. And then the saints reign with Christ a thousand years, verse four. And I saw thrones and they sat on them and the judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God 
and who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received his word and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection blessed and holy is he who has part of the first resurrection over such the second death has no power but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years then we have Zechariah 8 3 through 23 thus says the Lord I will return to Zion and dwell in the midst of Jerusalem Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth the mountain of the Lord of hosts the holy mountain thus says the Lord of hosts old men and old women shall sit in the streets of Jerusalem each one with his staff in hand because of great age the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets thus says the Lord of hosts if it is marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days will it also be marvelous in my eyes says the Lord of hosts thus says the Lord of hosts behold I will save my people from the land of the east and from the land of the west and I will bring them back and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem they shall be my people and I will be their God in truth and righteousness thus says the Lord of hosts let your hands be strong you who have been hearing in these days these words by mouth of the prophets who spoke in the day the foundation was laid for the house of the Lord of hosts that the temple might be built for before these days there were no wages for man nor any hire for beast there was no peace from the enemy for whoever went out or came in for I set all men everyone against his neighbor but now I will not treat the remnant of this people as in the former days says the Lord of hosts for the seed shall be prosperous the vine shall give its fruit the ground shall give her increase the heavens shall give their due I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these and it shall come to pass that just as you were a curse among the nations O house of Judah and house of Israel so I will save you and you shall be a blessing do not fear let your hands be strong for thus says the Lord of hosts just as I determined to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath says the Lord of hosts and I would not relent so again in these days I am determined to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah do not fear these are the things you shall do speak each man the truth to his neighbor give judgment in your gates for truth justice and peace let none of you think evil in your hearts against your neighbor and do not love a false oath for all these are things that I hate says the Lord okay so back to the words strength and heritage kindness is in this place glory is in this place holiness is in this place this is the house of the Lord I stand on holy ground the Lord and all that enter here rejoice for the righteous rule of Jesus Christ is soon. Evil will reign briefly, but then all light, all goodness, all holiness will conquer the evil and he will take the throne and lead the world. Jesus will lead the world in love, joy, kindness, and holiness. Jesus the Messiah will reign over all the earth for 1,000 years. Generations of righteous will multiply and live together under his righteous rule. A joyous time for the earth. A peaceful time of restoration, worship, love, and peace. No harm will befall the residents of this holy city. It will be a joyous time. Over time, families within all generations will get along and interact with love and respect. They will agree and enjoy one another's company for generations. The people to love and be at rest and respected from birth onward. This is something of which you know not. The sinful feelings you have been encouraged to feel between family members will not exist. This will be a unique and lovely time. 
Jesus himself will teach the people. Jesus himself will be accessible to the residents. The results of sin halted for the residents. All of those helping in the rescues for the rebels in the Great Tribulation, all those that helped in the time of sorrows by bringing fame to God for his miracles and provisions, all those who chose to leave their old life and be rescued by grace, all of these will be celebrated here. This will be a joyous time. A day, and I knew the first day in this sentence is a thousand years and the second one that's mentioned is seven years, okay? A day... Of righteousness after so many days of pure unrighteousness on the earth rejoice here in heaven we celebrate this soon coming time of hope for the earth and humanity none with the mark of the beast will be spared the hiders will live in this land those raptured some will be allowed to visit others allowed to live those translated allowed to lead and visit those sacrificed for me will reign with Jesus. Rejoice at what is to come. Imagine the world with the influence of the evil one off of the earth. Imagine the world with all of the evil agents and agreeables off of the earth. Imagine a world where people fully and joyfully seek after the fruits of the spirit. Imagine a world where peer pressure encourages goodness and righteousness. It is true. It is coming. Stay focused on Jesus. Stay focused on me. No matter what your eyes see, stand firm in righteousness. The benefits to come are surely worth the wait. All with full faith in me will overcome this brief time of sorrows. I will spare my true church and grow it. Rejoice. You live in a time to see these things. Miracles. The rapture. The righteous reign of Jesus Christ on the earth. As Esther was chosen to live at a specific time to spare her people, you also have been chosen to live at this time to spare the church, to bring them in. Okay, that's the end. And then um, we have a new thing that I have been instructed to do because my role is about to change into doing something else. I won't be able to monitor comments the same. Um, and a lot of people are going to be coming that are not saved or that have a very poor understanding of how the end times goes. So for this reason, I am going to put up a new policy, uh, which is if you have questions and you are new, not people that are regularly subscribers, but if you are new and you don't know what the hiders are and you're like, hey, what's that? Okay, I'm going to refer you to go back and do some homework. Okay, so these all the questions I get that are repeated, they're um, well covered in many places of these videos. And all you have to do is follow these directions and you'll get all the answers, okay? So number one is pray and ask the Lord for discernment. Number two, begin reading your Bible every day and pray and worship as much as possible. That's baseline, okay? Number three, start at the beginning and watch Just Listening to God, the playlist, the end notes playlist, the sanctification and righteousness playlist, very important, the spiritual warfare playlist, very important, false messiah playlist, the invisible thread dream, and the antichrist revealed. This answers the majority of the repetitive questions that I receive, okay? Now, the access is on a website to get the PDFs for many of these different um, words I receive. And those are heavily footnoted, many of them. The last couple, last month or so, I have not been called to do that, but there's over a thousand in this um, series and there's several hundred in the last series. There are verses that support what's going on here, okay? Now, if you still have questions, go ahead and ask, that's great. But it's uh, not a good use of my time to be answering questions repetitively, okay? And I understand you might be new, but we've all been doing this for a bit. Okay, so you are the one that needs to get caught up. We're not the ones that need to slow down. You got it? Okay, so I hope that helps you. And um, if you're a regular subscriber and you want to catch my email, go ahead and do that because that might disappear as well. Okay, so see ya.